Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Hobbits today looking at another beer that was sent to me by the guys at alesbymail.com. Check them out guys if you want to get a hold of some cool world beers and new UK craft breweries and whatever your heart desire. This is one that should be interesting from a brewery I've never heard of or never had anything from. And uh, they're called Brewerie de Leite and this is the Cuvée Jean, Jean Homme or I uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. Cuvée Jean Homme. Kind of a quirky looking label on there. But this is a Belgian brew from, as I said, Bouverie de Leiter on 6.5%. Now, this is a blonde sour. What they've done is they make the regular version of this, the base version, that they uh, use four different hops in it and then they dry hop it. But instead of then just releasing it as it is, then they mature it for four months in wine barrels where, the, where they say it acidifies. But they say because of that, it's kind of different because it's still got some bitter and hoppy citrus flavors, but also some of those kind of vinous tart wine characters. So kind of a different sour ale. I can definitely smell wine barrel from here. So it smells pretty interesting. Got it poured here. It looks really nice in the glass. So again, get to use my cool and dry glass. I haven't used this in ages. It's also been a while since I've reviewed a Belgian beer as well, but it looks nice in the glass. Hazy yellow, orangey color. Two finger almost of a white head. Still your own line. Oh, that smells really nice. Uh, oh, that's like a honey character to it. Definitely acidic uh, grape character. That I, I guess it's a white wine that's been in the, in a white wine barrel because it's an oaky white grape vineyard character. Some dryness, kind of uh, a slight, well, maybe not funk, but there's an oaky, weird, almost funkiness going on, like a quirky thing. Mm, smells really nice. Lemon, for sure. Citrus, I can see the bitterness. It does smell like it has, has like that chalky bitter feel you sometimes get in hoppy stuff. Yeah, it smells really nice. Citric, as I said, lemony. There's some hay kind of qualities as well. But really nice barrel character on it. Yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers, and thanks to Ales by Mail for the beer. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's kind of like a golden uh, sour with some almost Flemish characters. So it might have been in a, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's been a red wine or white wine barrel, but really nice Venus character to the beer. Pretty light, nice light medium mouthfeel. The flavors aren't lingering too much though, especially the tart. It's definitely a lightly tart beer. It's not super sour. It's a very good beginner sour beer. I'm getting like the tart lemony qualities. There's that chalky bitterness to it. Not like very hoppy, but I don't know the age of it either. Like, there's a smeared date or something on here where I can't really read it. It says like November 2015. Maybe that's the best before date. Must be. But uh, it's got some of those kind of citric notes, maybe some pale stone fruit, and then, oh, like lots of lemon character and, and white grape. You also get some of those kind of hay notes, slight funkiness, maybe not really funkiness per se, maybe it's just like an oakiness, tart, oaky, uh, dry, also kind of corky flavor to it. And then you're also almost a slight soapiness as well. Not really, um, maybe like barnyard and super funky, but it has like a light, funky, oaky type flavor to it. Like the aftertaste, you're just left with a light, oaky, uh, vineous flavor on the tongue. It doesn't linger for very long. It's making it very refreshing. It's got a good take of carbonation as well, also making it very refreshing. And mouthfeel on it's kind of light, lighter side medium, and very dry. Almost like a dry white wine, because it's like a, a tar tartar dry white wine it almost tastes like very vineous. Good gateway uh, beer as well for, I guess, wine drinkers, especially if you're into white wines. This could be a very good gateway beer for you to get into beers. So, Pretty nice refreshing stuff. Uh, didn't expect it to be this tasty, but not again mind-blowingly great compared to some other Belgian sours or world sours for that matter, but still some nice kind of beginner sour beer. If the flavors lingered for a little bit longer and just didn't cut off that short, I would probably go 90, but I'm gonna go 88. It's still really nice, kind of refreshing, good beginner type sour beer that I definitely recommend trying. Uh, good stuff. So guys, definitely let me know what do you think of the Bouverie de Leite Cuvée Jean Homme? 
if you've had a chance to try it. Real nice, light, sour beer. If you can't get it, hop on to Ales by Mail and get it on there. Uh, and thanks also to Ales by Mail for the beer. So guys, definitely let me know what you think of this one if you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. And I'm going to say cheers. See you guys in the beer review.